Hello guys and welcome to the fourth tutorial of SAP. In this tutorial I am gonna show you how to create your own domain and data element. So all are stored in your ABAP dictionary. ABAP dictionary is your ABAP repository. All the data are stored in this dictionary. So let us create our own domain and data element. So there is a transaction for this is SE11 open this transaction this is your transaction and you can see several buttons on your screen click on domain button enter the suitable name that is Z name underscore DE and click on create button and give a short description that is your name of the student we are creating a student database enter the data type click on right side and you can see several buttons on your screen these are several data types now we can use their it as a character click on character and give it number of characters equal to 20 save it and save it as a local object after that click on check button no consistency found you can see on your bottom of your screen and now activate it and enter we have successfully created our first domain now we are going to create another domain with name z troll number underscore de click on create button enter a short description and then data type so it is a roll number then we have to give a data name that is belongs to integer numc save it and save it as a local object then check and then activate it okay now we are going to create another domain with the name z class underscore de click on create button give a short description class of the student then data type equal to character number of characters equal to 25 and save it and save it as a local object check no consistency is found activate it and enter so we have successfully created all of our three domains now we are going to create our data element click on data element radio button enter the name equal to underscore dm click on create button you can see three buttons on your screen click on the data element button give the short description student name and give the domain that we have created z name underscore de click on field level tab name name these all are the length nothing else short medium long that's it save it save it as a local object and now check it whether there is an error or not no consistency is found and activate it enter your first data element is created click on back button enter another name for your data element that is your z roll number underscore dm click on create button enter ok give a short description for your data element roll number of the student 
enter the domain z roll number underscore de now click on field label tab enter the field labels that is your roll number Okay, click on save button and save it as a local object now check it and activate it okay press enter okay we have successfully create our two data elements now last one that is your z class underscore dm click on create button enter okay give it a short description that is class of the student okay, now data type okay enter the domain that is z class underscore de click on field level enter the field levels that is your class and save it and always save it as a local object in the check enter so thank you guys that is how we can create our domains and data elements. See you in the next tutorial guys.